Hello everybody, it's Jen. It is Friday, May 28th. I hope you're all doing great and thank you so much for joining me for this week's Friday haul. Um, I've got a bunch of fun stuff to show you this week, a few project shares, and we'll get our weekend started on a good note. So yeah, hope you guys are doing good and um, just wanted to let you know that we're just about at 3,000 subscribers when I'm making this video anyway. I would assume or hope, hopefully, over the weekend, um, it'll be 3,000, so be on the lookout for my giveaway that's coming up. And also next week, I am going to do a craft room tour, an updated craft room tour. I have my room pretty much as clean, clean as it's going to get. You know, it's not going to be perfect, but, you know, it's where creativity happens so it can get messy so anyway let's get started i went to hobby lobby this week i saw um nicole who is vagabond crafter hi nicole she had gotten some cool stuff at her hobby lobby clearance including the mini bloom from we are memory keepers so i was glad that my hobby lobby had them too um i have a bigger one i have the big like teal color one but this is the smaller blush blush one and original originally it's $14.99 it was on clearance for $374 and I thought I would open it up just to show you just in case you don't have one or don't know what it looks like inside but I store like jewelry findings in my big teal one so and I'm running out of room in that, so I thought this would be good for just like a extra storage space. So it comes all wrapped up. It's so cute and little. I love it. Okay, so this is what it looks like, and you just twist it open, and all the petals come out, and you can put little things in here, and the center opens as well. So... Um, it's good for findings, you know, things that aren't too deep, even some beads, and, um, and it just closes up, and it looks cute on your crafty space. So uh, they just had this color on clearance, or just actually that's the only color they had at Hobby Lobby when I was there. They had other storage things that I had in my cart, and then I put them away. I thought, all right, I have nowhere to put them. But like a lot of us, I just love organization things. But um, there were like, we are memory keepers, plastic shelving things. And also like they had some Buffalo check like bags to organize craft supplies in. Oh, they were so cute. But I put them back and I just got that. I also got a, um, if you follow me on Instagram. Yeah, I posted it on Instagram. Um, I got a dish rack that I spray painted pink and I'm storing some paper pads in it. I'll uh, put a picture in here, but it was on clearance for $19.99 from $79.99 and it just came out so cute, I think. Um, I'll show it more in detail during my craft room tour, but I, I thought that was a great buy. I had seen it on one of my Facebook groups, um, like a primitive decorating group that I'm in. Or no, it was in one of my dishes group. So anyway, they were storing dishes in it. And I thought, oh my gosh, I would uh, instantly, I thought of paper. So yeah, so that's what I got there. I also got this faux leather trim. It's um, half price this week. So it was $4.99. I showed it in my previous video with the ice cream cone tutorial. And I use it. I used it to make an ice cream cone. I'll show you guys in a sec. And um Actually, yeah, let me show you right now. This is the one that I had gotten at Michael's last week. So I made one um, on my video that looks like this. So this is the faux leather from Hobby Lobby. And if you watch that video, I didn't have the banana slices on there, but I added those on after the video was over just because I thought it missed something. So that's that one, and I love the size of it. I'll link that video down below just in case you're interested to see how I made the little ice cream cones. All right, so also at Hobby Lobby, I got some beads. They were 50% off this week. So I got this strand. I love like the matte look to these beads. They're aqua color and there are three different sizes. So I want to make some more bracelets. I have a bunch. Well, this one I bought at um, Michael's a while ago, but I want to make some aqua 
bracelets and I just I'd like the matte I think that would look nice mixed in with some like shiny beads or some um, silver so I got that and that was $4.99 but half price and then I got this these look like jadeite to me so I like that a lot I have like a little a little jadeite collection in my dining room so I don't know I just love these and gravitated towards them also $3.99 or these are $3.99 half price and then I got this set this is three different colors obviously but all the same size and these are like um they're pearlized but they have a little bit of iridescence to them on the white ones at least so there's white and this like periwinkle purple color and then this like pearlized aqua color and these were $5.99 half price so I think that is it from Hobby Lobby yeah that's it let's move on to um Creative Mojo Wholesale Studio I got my subscription box in I did get a or I saw on, on Instagram Arielle said that she's going to be discontinuing the subscriptions after the ninth month so um but she you know she's still gonna have her website and kits and stuff so but i'm glad i have this one and you might have seen these or uh, some unboxing some some ladies have um unboxing videos of this set but so i'll just go through it quick um really pretty things i already looked through it but she has these bows and there are three different colors there's like a light pink and a hotter pink and an aqua so i wonder if she made them because they look they're beautiful but i think she might have made them they're really really nice so there are those and then there are some sequins some flower sequins oops there's like a white uh iridescent blue and yellow so those are pretty nice to add to projects there are some star beads they have yep holes in them so they're beads there's pink and aqua and blue and yellow loving the pastels very nice these i thought this was the highlight of the kit for me these are little alpha beads and they're pink with white letters. I have never seen ones like this before. And they're tiny, which will be great for like bracelets and dangles and stuff. So there's that. And then here are these like, um, I don't know, what do you call these? They're not lobster clasps, right? I don't know. But these kind of clasps, there's pink and teal. Oh, and here are some more star beads. They're like a peachy color and a fuchsia. Oh, and purple. Okay, so we have the whole collection. And then we have these pretty, I think they're cabochons. No, I don't see a shank on them, so they're not buttons. But aren't those pretty? Really nice pastel colors, and they're a good chunky size, too. And then there are these star cabochons. There's yellow, pink, and blue, and they have, like, silver flecks in them. Really cute. And then there's this trim that I saw some of the design team ladies show and when you use it you're supposed to like take this bottom string out just so the tassels are kept neat in transit but then you know you can fluff out the tassels so that's pretty I love the colors of that it looks very like beachy and then the last item are these puppy stars. Oh, these are fun. You can, you know, make these into a dangle, just punch a hole in them, add an eyelet, and they have all different color star glitter in there. So very nice. Love this kit. I'm sad that she's not doing the subscription for now, but you know, she's got a lot going on. So I total, totally understand. This has got to be a ton of work. I can't even imagine. So that's CMWS. All right, let's go on to how about Etsy? I found this new shop, well, new to me, called Sugar Sunrise, and they have cabochons and charms and really cute stuff. So I ordered, um, the main reason I went there was to get these little ice cream cups. And again, these are in my ice cream cone video. Aren't they cute? They're like little, little sugar cones or wafer cones. 
but they have like a little dish on them and it says takeout but I've just covered those up with some ice cream let me just show you like one or two that I made um, this is one of them so there I put little banana sprinkles on it and there are nouveau drops to make it look like or like marshmallow syrup and these are little creative mojo um, pom-poms so yeah so I want to make some ice cream charms in addition to the cones these are like little sundaes and these little spoon charms I also got from sugar sunrise they uh, come in a pack like this all different colors and I will link these down below um, these are sold out currently but I'm hoping she will restock them or he whoever owns the shop because they're so cute and I did recommend them in my tutorial so hopefully they come back all right I also got these little ice cream scoops when I ordered them I was hoping they would just like fit on here but obviously they're way too big so I'll figure out something else to do with them but I'll just show you what they look like and these came in, these are the pastel assortment, but they're also like brighter colors and stuff. These are resin. They cute, look like little ice cream scoops. They really do look like ice cream. So I'll do something with them, I'm sure. And then I ordered these cabochons, these little hot air balloons. I had seen somebody on Instagram selling these too. Uh, oh goodness, I can't remember who it was. One of our fabulous crafty ladies. Um, so that's that one. Isn't that cute? And I think it came in like a blue color too, but I really like the pink. So I got those. And then the last thing from Sugar Sunrise are these bows. It comes with two of each color. And I just, I love the shape of the bow. I like how the tails go out like that. Sometimes, you know, they go straight down. I like how they go out. That way you can put them on top of a project or something and you know and you can see what's going on beneath them so and they come with the eye pin in them already so that is nice all right so again i will link these guys down below and hopefully those little ice cream cups come back in because they're too cute and i want more <laughs> all right so we did etsy hobby lobby i got one thing from zoo lily i actually ordered this a long time ago this is just some crepe paper chipboard from the hey pumpkin collection i'm pretty sure i had this already but since it was on there and i was ordering other stuff i just picked this up it was 5.99 there which is you know not super great but it is an older collection and since i don't really get to tuesday morning often i figured i'd get it and be ready for uh, the fall which fall crafting season's coming soon right oh two more things i got from hobby lobby i forgot sorry guys i got some vellum these were on clearance for 99 cents or this one's 99 cents this one was a dollar 24 and i don't know what i was thinking it's called well this one is clear vellum I'm like oh clear vellum but no it's just like regular vellum i guess clear vellum would be like acetate you know <laughs> but uh yeah it's just regular vellum I don't know what I was thinking, but you know what? Vellum and ST feel different, so I could see what I was thinking. <laughs> I don't know. Whatever. So I got some more vellum and I got gold, so that'll be fun to use in a project, I'm sure. All right, let me just find somewhere to put this on the chair. Okay, and let's go on to Alley. This is the last store or last, yeah, the last shop to show you. I got in um, a few dies from Surprise Creation Store. This one I just ordered because it was in my cart for a long time. And since I was ordering from them, I figured I'd just pick it up um, and just have it ready for winter crafting. But it's a really cute stitched mitten and it comes with like a top piece and then some like snowflake trim. So the top piece has snowflakes on it too. So I thought it was really cute and I figured I'd just grab it now. And it's a nice big size too. So lots of possibilities with that one. And then I got this truck die set, which I thought was super cute. I should have put this out. You know what? I ran out of magnetic sheets. I have to order some more from Amazon. But let me just show you. It comes with like the truck part, of course. And then it comes with a bunch of layering pieces, like the tire rim thingies. Um, comes with tires, um, like a little barrel to put in the back. And then, oops, sorry. 
uh, like a little fence too that kind of goes up here. I'll show you, I cut one out. A little milk jar that's adorable. And then some other like hearts and layering pieces for the tires. So I did make one and wanted to show you, and I think it came out really, really cute. Um, I made it into a shaker. I don't know why, I just felt like experimenting. So it's just a teeny little shaker where the window is. And um, I added some of the heart pieces on the outside. That's the fence piece and the milk jug and the barrel. And I think I used all of the pieces. Well, maybe not all of the hearts. It comes with like, three or four, three pieces of hearts. So I just used a couple of them. And yeah, pink and aqua, of course. The truck is kind of blue, but uh, just to show you what it looks like, the back doesn't look so great, but that's okay. So yeah, that's it. And uh, I'll link that down below too, of course, if you're interested. I just wanted, I didn't have like a little truck die. So I think this will be fun to dress up for different occasions, you know, different seasons. And then I got this one, um, Erica Scrap Diva 29. Hi, Erica. She had shown this Memory Dex card die set. And as soon as she showed it, I think, I, I think that's what spurred me on to order from Surprise Creations this time. But it's like a ice cream set. So it comes with the Memory Dex part that you actually don't have to use if you don't want to make it a Memory Dex card because it comes with the cup itself. So you could either just layer it on top or, you know, make it separate. And then it comes with different ice cream scoops. Like that's a scoop. And then another one and then a third one. And it comes with um, like a label kind of piece for the ice cream cup. And then it comes with, yeah, it comes with an oval so you can make a different a layer of that. And then it comes with the whipped cream with the layer for that as well. And then this piece is like a layering piece for the top of the cup. And I did make one. I will show you guys. I think it came out really cute. This is what I made. At first I didn't this back part did not come with the die set. I just added that on because um, I'm going to be sending this out to somebody. And I don't know, I thought it was just, it was missing a little something without it. it this just kind of like adds a backdrop and I don't know. It looked okay without it, but I liked it better with it. And I used some garden party papers for the memory decks part, for the cup, for the... Um, floral part here. This is from their stickers, garden party stickers. This is garden party paper. And then I use some diamond dots, some little sprinkles, and these are from Buttons Galore, little um, black and white candy sprinkles or sprinklets. And I pop them up on foam, the pieces, just like Erica did, because I just love how dimensional that looked. I just use some like pink textured paper in the back that I use for pretty much every project. It's from Basil. And then I use just a, um, a piece of bling or whatever, or no, enamel dot for the cherry because I couldn't find a cherry the right scale. And this is, um, I think it's uh, ephemera or it's a sticker. I don't remember. No, it's got to be like a sticker. It says wonderful you from Garden Party, and I added some star sequins from Sizzix I had, and I also added some Nouveau drops that I just plopped around. Oh, I gotta make the Nouveau drop demo. A uh, few people thought that was a good idea, so I'm gonna do that too, just a quick little video. Um, oh, and I added this gummy bear that, it was a freebie from Happy Kawaii Supplies on Etsy. And oh, this is the paper that I got last week, the Sizzix, um, opulent, what's that collection called? Like mystical or something like that. This is like the, just the holographic silver piece that I thought looked good for a spoon, even though like it probably should be like a wooden spoon, but whatever. So that's my memory decks card in the back. I just, I backed it with some nice paper just cause a memory decks card, you could see both sides and I intend to add my information on the back. So that's that, and let me think, is there anything else? Um, no, I think that is it. So, all right, you guys, have a great weekend. Next week should be a good week here. We're gonna have, I'm gonna post my 3,000 subscriber giveaway. Thank you so much to everybody who's subscribing and has um, been
been with me for a long time. I really appreciate everybody so, so much. And this will be just my little way of showing you that. Um, I will also have a tour, an updated tour of my craft room. Um, so a few things have changed. Well, actually, a bunch of stuff has changed since my last one. So I am excited to show you everything. All right, guys, I will talk to you later. Let me know what you think about this week's stuff. And I will talk to you later. Bye.